Hello everyone. Um, this is Hillbilly sixty six able. Yes, I'm changing my name. I just put it there. Um, this is my first video. Um, I like movies. I love movies. Um, I'm really inspired by Cool Dude or Wet Movie One stuff like that. Um, Mr. Movie Night. Um, I have a small collection, about forty movies, thirty five movies. Um, I'm getting a lot more. I've only been collecting for about a month. Um, if you could please um, comment, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, let me know what movies I should get and stuff. I'm into zombie films, comedy, stuff like that. Um, please hit subscribe or like. Um, the first one, my film collection, Dirty Harry, the four, the four movies. I'm getting the box set on Amazon probably Thursday or so. Um, that's a good one. The next one. Screwed with Dave Chappelle, Danny DeVito, and Norm Macdonald. That's a good film. I, you know, I'm uh, pretty funny. I mean, it's about dogs, if you get what I mean. Um, Goodfellas, a good mom movie. It's the two-disc special collector's edition. I like this one a lot. Um, that's a good one in my collection. The next one is Rat Race. This is loaded with cast. Um, it's a good directed film. Um, very well acting very good film I like this one a lot uh, Midnight Horror Collection the one in here none of these are good but Curtains Curtains is very underrated and it's a good film um, it's pretty good uh, check it out if you don't got it and also um, if no one know I'm selling any of these if you want trade or sell just let me know please Full Metal Jacket Stanley Kubrick's digitally restored and remastered and you can definitely tell because I have the original version on VHS um Overboard Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell um this is a really good film another I mean very good one the next one is not good um but I do got the second one to it just because I'm kind of like a sequel person I like having you know if there's one of something I'll buy it if there's five of something I will purchase them later on the next one is the Dorm Days National Lampoons. It's so stupid, it, you're kind of drawn to it. Um, it's a pretty good film. Not, not good. I mean, it's funny, goofy, stupid. Thirty minutes or less. I'm just going to jail. I'm just going to stupid. And then Ernest. Yeah, these are stupid. XXX. You get the second one. I think it's in Perrysburg right now, so that's it now. The Brother Stolen. That's a good one. I like that one. I got it for five bucks at our local movie store. So, can't read that. Grandma's Boy. It's an okay one. Um, it's a Happy Madison production. I don't really like movies about drugs and stuff. They just don't seem that funny to me. Um, For the Park of Terror. It's got Trace Atkins in it. It's okay. It's kind of gory. You know, gory is always cool, but that one's kind of stupid gory. Stupid zombies. Christmas Vacation 1. This is a good national and pink one. And the second one, which. It's okay. The first one's a lot better. Uh, Diary of the Dead. That's a good one. Super Mario's Brothers. This is kind of dumb. It's kind of like not real feeling. They're like they tried to be funny and it wasn't just really that good. None of the characters really had nothing to do with the Super Mario Brothers. Creep Show One, and like I said, Dorm Days Two, the sequel to Dorm Days One. Creep Show Three. It's like a goosebumps gone wrong. It's not a good one. Double Jeopardy. George A. Ramirez, Dawn of the Dead. Good one. I got Day of the Dead and Killing the Mail. Robin Hood, Men in Tights. This is a Mel Brooks film. And along with a bunch of other good ones made. Dutch with um, Ed O'Neill. And Ethan Randall. He really. He ain't even. He's um, in a couple good ones, but not really. He's in Sweet Home Alabama. Um, and the next one is uh, the new guy, DJ Qualls. Um, I like this one. It's really good directed and stuff. Revenge of the Nerds 1, 2, and 3. 
The fourth one I have somewhere, but I lost it. Dawn of the Dead, which is like, it's, it's not as good as the original 1978, uh, George A. Ramiro's, I think, uh, version. Um, that's my opinion. This one is really good, though. I'm just not as good, in my opinion. Um, Bait Shot with Billy Ingvall and Billy Ray Cyrus. That's like good acting. And the camera angle is just the ain't that good, in my opinion. One of the newest movies in my collection, um, The Green Hornet. Uh, Jay Chow, um, Seth Rogen, who's pretty funny, Seth Rogen. The Change Up. It's the rated and unrated version. Um, it's from the directors of The Hangover, I think. It's a good one. The Goonies. If you do not have, um, The Goonies in your comedy collection, go pick this up. This is one of the best films I think I've seen in a long time. Creepshow 2, which is, of course, the sequel to, uh, Creepshow 1, 2, and Miserable 3. Richard Pryor, live on Sunset Strip. Not really a fan of saying that, this one's pretty good. I mean, it's Richard Pryor. 20 film favorites, Alfred Hitchcock, these are not good at all, let's see the packings, Bruce Campbell, Army of Darkness, Screwhead Edition, I got the Boomstick Edition too, these are funny and good, Freddy got fingered, boring, kinda stupid, Gory in some parts actually too. Um biblical yeah, it's just it's a good one. It's kinda stupid. Lethal weapon. One, two, and three and four. Nine dollars. My very last one, Bushwhacked. With um Daryl Stern or something his name, something like that. This is a good family film. Um, if you could comment back, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.